Now, the next thing I want to say is, like you said, they're so young and they don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. Can you simply explain to them what is a menstrual cycle? Right. That's, I think, a very beautiful question that you've asked because I think there's so little education in schools, unfortunately, unless and until you reach your uh, junior college. And yeah. yes, and then, you know, you yeah. take up the stream, yeah. you really, even I didn't know what menstruation yeah. or menstrual cycle is. So like you emphasized on and uh, correctly said that it's a cycle. So the cycle begins from the first day, which is the day you start seeing blood, which in a common term, you'll say it's my period or I'm on my mm. menstrual phase. And that is the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase wherein the uh, period happens, the blood flow happens. And then starts the follicular phase, which is the estrogen dominant phase. Okay. And I always tell all my lovely patients and girls that when we feel certain emotions during the cycle, it's very scientific yeah. because estrogen is the happy hormone, is going to make you look beautiful and is going to Blowing make you feel hormone. Yes, <laughs> young and confident yeah. and it's during that phase when you feel energetic you want to you know do 100 things and then comes the the follicular phase slowly will lead to ovulation which is very important not just for people who are trying to conceive but even for people who want to have a normal cycle is this which gets impacted in pcos which will eventually lead, lead to a constant rise in hormones and will lead to things like acne hirsutism irregular periods so ovulation is extremely important and that will happen around the 14th to the 18th day if during that ovulation there is no unprotected intercourse, there is no baby that is formed in the womb, then we lead to the luteal phase, which is the progesterone dominant phase. Here is where you're going to feel gloomy, you're going to have your PMS symptoms, you'll feel bloated, you won't feel like doing too many things, and it's okay. That's what I try to tell all my patients that it is scientific. So if yeah. five days before your periods or seven days before your periods, you're low on energy and you don't feel like going to the gym or you're you know, trying to push yourself, all of us are doing it. It yes. is hormonal and it is extremely medical and scientific. Yes. And then that is when eventually the luteal phase ends. And if everything is normal, your progesterone, estrogen, all of that, then come to a low and then your period flow starts. So it's if you see the graph, it's really beautiful and there are ups and downs. And that's how our moods feel. That's how our skin feels. And that's how we overall feel as women with Pencil flow. <laughs> exactly. So this is why also the skin alters from a great looking skin after your period. But sometimes for some people what happens is because you've lost so much iron, you've lost so much blood during that period, the first couple of days could be days of recuperating. But if you're already anemic and if you have lost more blood, you may even end up starting to lose a lot of hair in that period, which is important. So a cyclical iron therapy may also end up doing a lot good or simply over the period taking a supplement which has some iron in it, a low dose iron in it may also help. Other than that, the estrogen is brimming. So you look most feminine, most beautiful, feel beautiful. So all of this happens and it adds to how the skin really looks. Then you have the second part of the phase, which is just before your menstruation. Some people do have one or two acne that just comes during the, ovul during the ovulation that she was saying when the egg release is there. So that can just happen at that point of time. But most people have it premenstrually because that's the time the progesterone is at its peak. Mm 